Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And welcome. But when they were deciding who to ask to do this <laughs> service, somebody must have said, let's ask the Reverend Michael. He's about as near to being a hundred as we can get. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and I'm, I'm pleased to be able to do it. Uh, I have a, a fairly long history with, uh, with Kirsty now. We're going to begin by singing a, a hymn, number 515, The Church's One Foundation, which is Jesus Christ, her Lord. 515. <laughs> Saturday, 
the memorial stones of the new structure were laid under the happiest of auspices. The afternoon was gloriously fine. <laughs> <laughs> the large crowd gathered for the ceremony. The afternoon opened with devotional exercises by the Reverend J.W. Hall offering prayer, the Reverend F. Taylor reading the 122nd Psalm. The Reverend Branwell Brown said that they were now building on the best and surest foundations and were told that there would be neither fissures nor cracks in the new building. He rejoiced to think that the new church was one in which the pure word of God would be preached in which the sacraments would be administered. We were discussing, uh, as we came in, some of us, where the memorial stones actually are. We're not quite sure where the, where the actual, they're probably uh, on the foundations <laughs> underneath what we can see. But so the best thing we have is this plaque to commemorate the occasion. Um, if you haven't read it before, I'll, I'll read to you what it says, because I took a photograph of it uh, so that I could read it, because I thought, I'm not going to stand here and try and copy it down. So I was surprised that on the photograph, there were three bits of colour underneath. I thought, this, I know, that is something on the photograph. There must be some mistake, but it's, it's these. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never noticed them. I've read the notice. I've read the, the sign lots of times, but I've never noticed that we've got fire action underneath it. But now I know what to do if there's a fire. Right. The, the, what it says, you can read it afterwards, of course. It says, Kersley Mount Wesleyan Methodist Church, founded 1836, rebuilt and enlarged 1870. Then it goes on for the, the present. The foundation stones of the present church were laid to the glory of God on May 16, 1914. Then there's the list of names of the, the people who laid the stones. Dr. Affleck, Mrs. William Clegg, Mrs. Thomas Davis, Mrs. J. Dutton. I don't know why some have got a Christian name, some an initial. Uh, it may be the length of the, of the name, I don't know. But to some have in Christian names, some don't. So Mrs. J. Dudson, Mr. T. Dudson, Mrs. J. N. Whistle, Mr. J. W. Foster, Mr. Thomas Lord, and Mr. Joe Painter. And then Miss F. Turner for the ladies' classes. It actually says class one ladies class two ladies. Then Mr. S. H. Worthington for the men's classes and Master J. M. Collier for the scholars of the school. We thank God for, for their involvement and, and for the fact that the foundation stones were laid 100 years ago today. And I think this is an auspicious auspicious day to remember, just as it was an auspicious day uh, when they were laid. And so to our devotional exercises. And I'm going to read the 122nd Psalm, which was read uh, on the first occasion, although this is in a slightly more modern edition, I expect. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, built as a city that is bound firmly together, to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, as was decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. Their thrones of judgment were set, and the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they be secure who love you, Peace be within your walls, and security within your towers. For my brothers and companions' sake, I will say, peace be within you. For 
the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. In faith, hope and trust, our forefathers laid the memorial stones of this church 100 years ago today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all those who worked for its building. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the expertise of the architects and the builders who worked to erect this building, and for all those who have cared for it, altering it, maintaining it, and cleaning it over the years, so that it can still be used today. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that here we have heard the gospel and the forgiving love of Jesus being preached that here we have been invited to share in the bread and wine with the body and blood of the crucified and risen Christ, that here children have been baptised into the church, that here couples have come to be joined in holy matrimony, that here our dead have been commended to God and promoted to glory, and all because of the faith, hope and trust of those who have gone before. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that this building stands as a sign of your love and welcomes members of the community into it to further their education, their health and their hobbies. Accept our thanks and praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, is name, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our daily bread, and help us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We're going to sing another hymn in a moment. But I've also got a prayer of dedication, uh, which I've... <laughs> Thank you. 